Hi, my name is Alex Spencer, and this is a tutorial for Tuts Plus. Screencasting is the act of recording your on-screen actions while occasionally incorporating audio as well. This can be great for teaching others, sharing a technical issue, or just plain having fun. While typically done in advance, and then publish the internet, nowadays you can also broadcast live. In this tutorial, I will show you three different ways to screencast completely free. The first two methods will involve recording, editing, and then posting online while the last method will be a live stream. The tools I will demonstrate are a combination of QuickTime with YouTube or Vimeo, QuickCast, and Google Hangouts Live. Let's get started. To begin recording your screencasts, launch QuickTime, then go to File and New Screen Recording. If you need to include audio with your screencast, click the down arrow on the far right and choose the input device you would like to use. Once you have the audio configured, click the red button to begin recording. You will be offered the option to click and begin recording your full screen or drag across an area you would like to record. I'm just going to click to record the full screen. I'm going to go ahead and launch my terminal and just record the fact that it launched. Maybe I taught something or typed something and then I'm going to go ahead and close it. Basically just enough to show a little bit of motion in this movie. When you're done recording, go ahead and click the record button at the top in the menu bar. You'll be presented with your finished recording, and if you need to remove some of the video from the start or end of the movie, click on Edit from the menu bar, then Trim. Use the yellow sliders at the bottom to adjust your beginning and end points, and click Trim to confirm. Now you can either export your video to your Mac's hard drive by clicking File and Export and choosing a resolution to export it down in, or you can send it directly to YouTube by going to Share and then YouTube, or you can send it to Vimeo. Regardless of the service you choose, simply enter in your credentials and some details about the video and your screencast will begin uploading immediately. If simple is what you're looking for, QuickCast may be a great alternative to QuickTime in YouTube. QuickCast is a fun new startup that encourages you to record and share simple 3 minute screencasts. Once you've downloaded and installed the QuickCast app from the Apple App Store, it will live in your menu bar right here. To start a new QuickCast, click on the icon and then choose record. A dialog will pop up where you can choose the area of the screen you'd like to record or the full screen, choose the monitor you'd like to record, as well as the microphone you'd like to use to record. You'll also note where they're going to save your QuickCast to on your hard drive. Feel free to change this if you like. When you're ready to record, you'll simply click record QuickCast. The timer will count down from 5, 4, 3, 2, then 1. As soon as 1 clears, your recording has now begun. You'll also notice the three minute timer in the menu bar has begun as well. Once you stop the recording, either from the menu bar or by doing a command alt control Q, you'll be presented with a preview screen where you can either cancel, record again, or save your quick cast. Go ahead and click save. Give your movie a title, tags, intro card, outro card, and description, and then click publish. As soon as your video is published, you'll be notified and given a link directly to your video. They host it free of charge. If you want to send that same video to YouTube or Vimeo, you may do so as well. It's stored in your movie folder under the QuickCast directory. Now that you've seen the two ways to pre-record a screencast and then post it to the internet, let's take a look at how you can do a live screencast thanks to Google Hangouts. First and foremost, make sure you've downloaded Google Chrome and that's the browser you're using to access the internet. Then head over to plus.google.com hangouts. As soon as that page loads, you'll see a start a hangout on air button. Go ahead and click that. Give your hangout a name and a description. Choose whether you want the hangout to start now or later and the audience you would like and then click share. You'll be taken to a hangout page where you can start broadcasting immediately. If you'd like to share your broadcast with anyone specific and you want to send them a link, come over to the link section right here and copy this link and email it out to anyone you'd like. When you are ready to start the hangout, click the start button in blue. The Hangout control panel will come up and you'll be able to do any kind of screen sharing, chat, question and answer, turn your camera on, just about anything you can imagine. Google Hangout is really cool. The other bonus is when you're done, it'll automatically be posted on YouTube as a replay. So whether it's to show off a technical issue you're having or do a full blown tutorial, screencasting can be a valuable skill. In this tutorial, I showed you how to screencast from QuickTime and YouTube, QuickCast, as well as do a live stream from Google Hangouts. Thanks for watching.